Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More. Pop Culture Superstore at 6725 West. Toledo, Ohio, 4361741. 531-6097. Let's grab it, JC's Comics some more. This is the last box. Had roughly two and a half boxes worth of comics this week. I see Nobody is the Troll. I see the True Believers Avengers. I see Strange Academy. I see Iron Man 2020. So let's get the Ron Lim cover of Iron Man 2020 first. We'll get that out of the way. And I see Wellington also. So let me pull Wellington out because I know I only have one copy. No, I have two copies of Wellington. And I know one of these is spoken for. So I'll make sure one gets set aside then. Uh, Iron Man 2020. Got this right here. Almost looks like a... Uh, God. Maybe a... Rich Buckler drawing. That's by Ron Lim, the ever talented Ron Lim. We've got Superman's villains. I think they're Superman's heroes. So now they have to decide what they're going to do with the Man of Steel. And I say, kill all of, uh, make him pay for his mistake. You know, kill all of his, uh, his friends and family. You know, it was really stupid of Bendis. I mean, really stupid of Bendis. You. Superman has a secret identity for a reason, dude. You're stupid, Bendis. Okay. Let's see what's next, though. Let's see, Strange Academy. It looks like it's the regular cover. And again, it looks like we got some sort of a variant as well. So we'll pull the variant out. And then we'll get the regular cover. Each of these maybe might be one in ten variants. I think these are what they call, yeah, that they call these like the design variants. So, did not order very heavily on this Strange Academy. I don't have a lot of faith in the book. Here's the regular A cover of Rescue 2020. And again, you got Pepper Potts flying around with her with her face mask up. How do you take out somebody in armor where they got exposed? You turn that face, you pulp it. You hit it until the body doesn't move any longer. Stupid. So stupid. That's stupid. Let me know how that works out. What do football players just, you know, so they can be recognized? How about they run around the field with no helmets on? How do you think that would work out for them? Pretty bad. We've got Justice League number 42. This has been really, really, really good since uh, the new creative team took over. I mean, really, really good. Make you forget about that disaster was the final part of that, uh, that, that year of the villain storyline. That thing was so bad. It was like reading Marvel's Secret Wars or Marvel's Civil War. Here we got the Butcher of Paris number four. It's from Dark Horse. I Man, I come to expect a lot better from DC. Marvel, I can, I can, uh, I can expect some of that just bad crap from Marvel. But DC, I expect better from you, DC. Here we've got Swordmaster number nine. Make sure I set a couple copies aside for some pull and hold customers. And here we got an Art Adams variant cover on Strange Academy. So it might be worth buying it just for that Art Adams. I think that might be a one in three, has to be, because I'd certainly buy more than three copies of anything Art Adams. Here we got Hard Lee Quinn, number 71, the uh, Frank Cho cover. Hard Lee's putting on, uh, starting to get chunky there. But uh, she t took uh, the Lucky Charms, took Lucky's uh, box of gold, and she's really bad for that. Bad, bad Hard Lee. Let's see, we've, uh, the second copy, I've got a damaged one. Okay, Avengers. 
And again, we got Transformers. Let me pull the Transformers off right away and just check those. Transformers Galaxies, issue five, cover A. We'll set those aside for uh, some customers. And since we have these here, I'll just pull these off also. And wow. All right, we'll do this, uh, do these first. Sonic uh, in issue number 26, that's cover A. This is Billionaire Island. This is cover B on that. And you wonder what I wowed about. I think it would have been maybe in the first video. So let me pull out some Conan number twos. Uh, Battle for the Serpent Crown. Only had two there, right? Uh, I'm sorry. I guess I wowed about nothing. I just saw this is the the regular number two, and I saw a black cat, and and looked over, and it just looked very similar. So I'm sorry, I'm uh, I'm throwing diamond under the bus for no reason. So they actually didn't screw up, but it, I wouldn't have been surprised if they did. Wouldn't have been surprised if they did. But I'm gonna have to order some more copies of this since black cat's in this. That. Then I'm going to need more copies because there's going to be some fans that are fans of Black Cat that are going to need them. And it looks like it's a really good story. Conan seems to be adapting really quickly to uh, to modern times. Okay, we've got a great Salba Sama. Uh, this is reprints issue number 89. Of the Avengers. A buck. This is a buck. Got Roy Thomas. Salvo Summer. Sam Granger. You got the original. The Captain Marvel. From Marvel at least. Not the Shazam Captain Marvel. But this is the Captain Marvel. Not Carol Danvers. This is the man. The one. The only. True Captain Marvel. Get that much straight right now. Okay, we got uh, got the rest of my copies. We're underneath this issue of Nobody in Control number four from Black Mask. I ordered two copies. Okay, where's the other copy? The other copy sitting on top, on the other side. Again, I have two copies. They cannot put them both together. They can't put them both together. Check video two uh, for my comment on the Diamond employees. Those certainly do apply here. Everything I said about them applies here. And again, there's the rest of my true believers. Only a buck. Great stuff. Right before the Kree Scrawl War is getting ready to really fully uh, happen. I see we have. You've got the new yellow jacket. Change him back to his costume. You know, you could have him be a villain, but change him back to that costume. And you've got Bishop. Bishop's trying to use an atomic bomb uh, to kill a fly, to kill a bug. Okay, lots of marauders. Marauders sell very well. So we got the photo cover of Mercy. Very nice looking photo cover. It almost looks like, of course, you'd have a wig on. Almost looks like uh, Christine from uh, uh, Lacuna Coil. Strange Academy. I think this is the one in 25 variant because I only have one. And look, you got the uh, jack o' lantern there. But I think that's a one in 25. Okay, the Sumerian, Queen of the Black. Black uh, Queen of the Black Coast. This is cover B. We saw some of the cover A's. I read this. It's damn good. It's better than uh, the Conan stuff Marvel's doing. Here we have King of Nowhere, number one from Boom Studios. Let's see, got another copy of uh, the Sumerian Queen of the Black Coast. This is cover D. Now, the only real problem with these books, 
you tell me what the problem with these books are, the logos. Pull this down, put that logo up there. Pull this down, put that logo up there. Come on. A blaze? You guys want your books to be found, right? You don't want them to be lost. You're making sure your books might get lost. Let's see, Red Agent, issue three. We'll just pull this one off over here. This is cover A of Red Agent number three. I don't know, Dr. Morale. That gets set aside for my Xenoscope collector. And I see that we also do have Ghostbusters year one, number two, cover A. So those came out. And then we've got issue 133. This is another True Believer dollar issue. Uh, Steve Englehart, Salva Simon, Joe Stanton with a Gil Kane and John Romita cover. Again, it's a buck. Great Marvel stuff here. Man. These Marvel comics blow away anything that Marvel's doing these days. Those writers wish they were that good. Here we've got the Kiss Zombies. This is number four. This is the cover D, the photo cover. Mr. Woody is going to be very happy to get his Kiss Zombies. Uh, you probably remember in the video A, I talked about how I ordered the Strange Adventures, more of the Strange Adventures cover B's and the cover A's. Well, this is why. This cover A sucks. Which is the better cover? B or A? B or A? It's B. I ordered half. Half of what I ordered of the book of, uh, of B is, is on the A's because they're that bad. Here we got Miles Morales, uh, Spider-Man issue 16. This is the Spider-Woman cover. And again, there's absolutely no reason why you can't have that logo back behind there. None whatsoever. I see stuff like that, I order less. I order less because. Uh, here's the cover A on Batman number 90. And make sure I have copies set aside for my regulars. They are, take care of them. They are the lifeblood of any shop. Without your regulars, you don't stay open. You're not open for somebody spending $4 every three to six months. That doesn't keep your lights on. It's those guys that come in each week that spend that 30 40 50 60 70 150 250 dollars a week. Those are the guys, not Speculator Bob. I see there's somebody that was selling, I think it was on it was on Instagram, the You're the Villain that came out last week. I'm not sure if it was cover A or cover B that they were selling, but they were selling an unopened case of 160 copies. And what do you think there the buy it now price on that thing was? Take a wild, wild guess. Um it came up to $281.25. They were selling that for $45,000. Plus, you had to pay shipping because that's how white they are. Um, but that's just ridiculous. Or if they didn't get any uh, anybody to buy it now, the opening bid was $19,000. Yeah, I'd let them know that, hey, okay, if I'm buying this for $45,000, you will deliver it to me in person, and I will punch you in the face and you will take it because you made $44,600 profit. It's people like that that are the true, true gougers, you know, not some shop that's charging a little above cover, try to keep his doors open. Guys from California. I would drive to a shop and burn it to the ground and gladly go to jail for arson for somebody like that. Got a conspiracy area 51. Got that set aside for one of my pool customers. And here is a cover B on that also. And his A should hopefully be in this next week. Okay, this is... Uh, 
Not sure if I order or if this is a this if this is a um, promo paradox. We'll have to set that aside and have a look see. So we've got a reorder on X Force number eight that came in last week, and I got some reorders on Giant Size X Men one. So much better. So I went ahead and reordered them. So we got those available. Okay, about halfway done. This one here, real quick. Zombie Tramp number 68. Bam! In your face. Put your eyes out. This is cover D of Mercy. There are multiple covers on that Mercy. Here we've got cover B on Lois Lane number 9. Aftershock, Join the Future number 1. That's the first issue on that. Let me put these mercies away real quick. Okay. Transformers Galaxy number 5, cover B. This is for a pull customer. The Magicians. This should be cover B, issue 5. That's for a pull customer. The Flash number 750. This is the 2010 covers. Again, we've got something like this here, but we've got no Jackson Geis. Uh, we've got no Alan Davis. Uh, at least it's only $7.99. I'm happy about that. But issue 750 of Flash. Okay. Outer Darkness Chew number one. This is cover B. Did not order many of those. Here is cover A on the Sumerian Queen of the Black Coast. Again, this was really good. If you're a Conan fan, you will certainly enjoy that. This is a retailer variant on Unsacred number four. Here we got Strike Force number seven. And this has not been canceled yet. This sells very, very poorly for Marvel. Very, 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 very poorly. Very, very poorly. Got Savage Avengers number 11. This is a really, really good book. Doctor Strange getting himself some Electra. Or maybe Electra's getting herself a little bit of Strange. Hear that, Kevin? Electra's getting him herself a little bit of Strange. Poor Matt. Feel sorry for him, but at least he never saw it coming. Here we got Crone number five from Dark Horse. Black Cat. That's right, there's another variant. We had the uh, J. Scott Campbell Black Cat with Wolverine issue that came in. Now we have the Black Cat with Spider-Woman. So I'll make sure I set that aside for somebody that I know is going to want that. Vampir Vampir Vampironica, issue three, New Blood, cover B. I see more Flash 750s. The 2000s cover, Jim Lee. It's not bad. I've seen Jim Lee do a lot better. You think, uh, I mean, Jim's a good enough artist that it doesn't look like the Flash is moving. You know, you need some speed lines in there. You can learn that from uh, Cameron Infantino and uh, George Perez can show you that, Jim. He can, they can show you how to draw the Flash correctly. You know, because if you look at him, Man, there's something wrong with his uh, his right leg there. It's like he's skipping. Doop de doop de doop de doop de doo. He's skipping along. Doop de doo. Haven't seen this in a while. Issue number nine, or is it issue number of Unearth? I guess it's issue number six. 
but this is the logo again is really really bad so as I overlap books you can't even see anything that, that's as bad as bad can be my god okay Daphne Byrne number three this is the A cover almost looks like you got Kylo Ren there making a little guest appearance little Kylo appearance okay I know we still have some uh, still have some flash variants I think the 19 with maybe the 1950s 1970s I don't know if about the 1980s we're still waiting on quite a few here we have Excalibur number eight I think I saw John Byrne do this in a uh, issue of Namor about 20 years ago Here is the flash blank cover. It's red. How cool is that? That's very cool. Again, see, DC's cooler than Marvel in most regards. Cover A of Vengeance of Vampirella number six. Shop Stewart, this vamp is for you. Here we've got Buffy number 13. This is the cover A. I got my copy set aside for the Buffy Knights, so they'll be happy. They'll know their their vampire slayers waiting for them. Here we've got the Dreaming Sandman Universe of Dreaming number nineteen, and got that copy set aside for the guy in Cleveland. Too bad I couldn't have gotten a chance to go see him this weekend when I was in the Cleveland area. Sonic number twenty six, cover B, and I think this is Flash seven fifty. This is the nineteen. This is a 1950s variant. Gary Frank. Well, look, see, you got speed lines. Gary knows how to draw somebody that's running. Make it look like they're running. Gary understands. Justice League number 42. Cover beyond that. Get the rest of our Justice League 42. Cover B's. Okay, call out this last group of comics. I see we got the crow. I believe this is cover A for the crow. Yep, this is the crow cover A's. New uh, miniseries, Lilith or Lilith, something like that. Another dollar comic with Swamp Thing, and this is issues. Oh God, what issue does this reprint? This reprints Swamp Thing number 57. Alan Moore, Rich Veitch. Oh, man, covered by Stephen Bissett. Nice, and it's a buck. Come buy your dollar Swamp Things. <clears throat> Red Sonja cover A. Jay Lee cover. I bought one copy. The Joe Linsner cover is much, 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 much better. Uh, we've got Thor number two, second printings. So we've got that right there with Beta Ray Bill. Thinks that he's going to put a hurting on Thor. We'll have to ask the little horse face how that turned out for him. And that's it. That's it for uh, this week's new comics. Got that there again, Dr. Strange getting on, or Electra's getting himself a little, a little Doctor Strange there. Again, uh, I'd like to thank everybody that has subscribed and have putting us over the 1,000 mark. But certainly like these videos, certainly hit the bell for notifications, certainly share. Other than that, everybody have a great new comics Wednesday for this first March of 2020. Thank you for watching.